All right, Rob, thanks. Now to the latest in the firing of UL softball coach Mike Lotif. KTC investigates following the paper trail and the complaints on both sides. Our Danielle Garcia joining us live in studio with a detailed look at the documents. Danielle. UL softball has seen a lot of changes over the past few weeks. The head coach and the two assistant coaches were fired this week, leaving the players to wonder whether they want to transfer or stay in the program that Lotif built. Documents show the complaints made by former players against Mike Lotif center around verbal and physical abuse. One former player saying Lotif hit, grabbed her hair, and shook it several times. While others noted that Lotif made multiple references to rape and female genitalia. Another of the complainants says she transferred because of the way he treated her, saying he's a man who is fighting for women's equity, yet the respect for his own players doesn't seem to add up with his actions. Another former player called it a brainwashed bullying culture. And while many of the complaints allege verbal and mental abuse, the statements also acknowledge Coach Lotif's commitment to the program. According to the records obtained by KATC over the past year, Lotif has been consistently asking for equitable treatment for his players. This is an email where Coach Lotif asked for equal treatment between softball players and baseball players in the Sunbelt Conference. In text messages sent by Coach Lotif, his assistants weren't on the payroll for two months into school starting, so he offered up his bonus to cover their pay, an offer the school accepted. He credits his anger to sticking up for female student athletes, saying they're discriminated against, and that's why he gets angry. I get out of the field, sometimes I have a loose tongue, but for to become for to take that and make it become vulgar and offensive and hostile, again, I agree with what Jack said. That's a that's a reach, and that's a stretch, and that's inaccurate. I even say it's a lie. Shelly Landry, a former Cajun softball player and current team manager, will coordinate softball activities while the search for a new head coach goes on. Live in the studio, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3.